There's three crazy ones I gotta, I gotta mention. This one says, I came from Italy to tell you my story, which is awesome. I love Italy. And for those of you, I mean, you don't care because you're in Manchester, but I'm not going to Italy on this tour. And I feel so terrible, so I'm so grateful that you traveled here. I love you so much. But girl, I gotta talk about the size behind you for a second. I'm coming back to you, don't worry. This says, I'm here with my ex, so... And it's too much because you made a sign. Like, you made this... You've been waiting this, for this moment? Oh my god, how recently did you guys break up? I like how I say moves. Five moves ago. There you go, guys. There was my accent. Okay, and then this says my ex married to my cousin. Bro. I'm overstimulated because most of the time people are like, some guy stopped snapping me. <laughs> so this is very juicy. I, I don't even know where to begin. It's my birthday today. Say what? It's my birthday today. What did you say? My birthday today. It's my birthday today. It's my birthday today. Yeah. Is anybody on the mic stand? It's my birthday today. Can you explain uh, it's what my, the fuck happened? Oh, uh, it's my birthday too. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> So I'm from Malaysia. Uh, it's my birthday today. So thank you for being in Manchester because I'm, I'm studying in Manchester. So thank you so much. Oh happy birthday. Thank you. Okay, what happened? Uh, well, <laughs> this one. Yeah. Oh, okay, so it was like when I was 16. Um, so I have uh, with this one guy, you know, like I have my first love. I mean, it was so embarrassing, maybe. But then um, we were together for months, like for like I think five months, and then suddenly he changed his profile picture because I went to boarding school. He changed the profile picture with someone else, and then there's like Agnes. It's the name. My name is Cynthia. But then he put Agnes. So I asked him, "Who's Agnes?" And he was like, "Oh, it's my new girlfriend." And then I was like, "Who am I then?" And then he was like, "Oh, uh, because you're ghosting me for months." But I was in body school, and then um, years later they were married. And the Agnes is actually my cousin. Yeah, so yeah, and my cousin actually knows that I was with him before. Yeah, so, so we kind of like back right now. Yeah. I was following along, and my arm hurt really bad. Um, that's crazy. I, okay, this is what I'm doing. I normally don't do this. Normally I stick to one, but I, I have to know. I have to know. You're, I'm getting to you too. I ha you're here with your ex? Wait, where'd you go? Where'd you go, girl? Okay. Five months, right? Yeah, what happened? You can't hear her. Yeah, you gotta shout because my arm hurts. I gotta talk to Italy too, so elevator pitch, but yes. Basically, we were together for eight months and she broke up with me just before my 18th birthday over the text for no reason. And we're in the last for two years. Basically, but she really is lovely and can last and doing it here. She doesn't know who you are, but she waited at 8 o'clock in the morning in the queue with me. So she is a nice person, she's just a bit of a mother to me. I assumed y'all were on good terms because, you know, you're here together. 
but also so sad. She just did not know what she was getting pulled into tonight, and you just broadcast in front of him. She's like, what the fuck? Why did I come here? Um, we think you're awesome, so no worries. I'm glad you get. Are you guys gonna kiss right now? Okay, but anyways. <laughs> Um, okay, last but not least, you came from Italy, and I want to know what's happening in Italy. First of all, ti amo. Means I love you. Second of all, okay. This is a really feminist story, by the way, because. Because basically, um, when I was 15, I fell in love with my best friend's boyfriend. You say feminist of you, but um, we did nothing, okay? He, he kind of, I don't know if he was liking me that, but he was like so, so attached to me. We were like talking every day and stuff, but we didn't do nothing, okay? We didn't cheat or anything or stuff. So one day he calls me up and like, I'm so depressed, I need you. And I'm like running, running to him. And uh, somehow my best friend <laughs> finds out other than me bringing up with my best friends, of course, I had the whole group of friends calling me a slut. I, I think you know something about that. I think you know. And I, I've been called in every single bad word ever. People were like hating me. And the thing is. Sorry. Sorry. What else is what else is like a popular slag? It's, it's like a whore but British. That's kind of my thing. I feel like I I feel like if someone called me a slag, I would like a slag. But a slut, a slut. But I'm learning your your slang. So you were called a slag. Okay. And then what happened? The crazy thing is that we both like did some bad thing, but I was the one being called a slut, and it was perfectly okay. The man always perfectly okay was being friends with anyone. Yes. And um, I ended up being in love with this guy for three years, and it ended up uh, breaking my heart like ten times. Yay! Now I know what a therapist feels like, honestly, because they do this shit like 10 times a day. And I'm like, over, I'm so invested in everyone's story. Like, I want to know more, but like, I have to sing. <laughs> <laughs>